Hi everyone, welcome to this video. In this episode we're going over the geoprocessing and see how we can apply each one of the geoprocessing tools. We import a number of vector layers into the software to perform operations on these layers. To get started, you can either go to the geoprocessing menu. or search for the geoprocessing tools in the search section. There is a complete and helpful description of each process that you can read. The first processing that we're going to apply is buffer. To briefly explain, buffer creates polygons around the input features to a specified distance. So from the geoprocessing menu we find the buffer command. As said, we can also search for the buffer in the search section. In the input features section, we select the rivers layer. We put the unit on square kilometers. For instance, we adjust it to 1 kilometer. You can save the final file in a specific storage path. As you can see, all the rivers were marked within 1 kilometer. We also apply the buffer on the points layer. Select the points layer. We choose the buffer of half a kilometer. Here there are two polygon layers, one of these layers has a larger range. We change its color combination to make it clearer. Clip command can be used to cut this part. But what is clip? When do we use it? We use this tool to cut out a piece of one feature class using one or more of the features in another feature class as a cookie cutter. This is particularly useful for creating a new feature class also referred to as study area or area of interest that contains a geographic subset of the features in another, larger feature class. Select clip from the geoprocessing section. Select input features. Also specify clip features. And finally click on OK. The first layer was cut in the same way as the second layer. In terms of information, it is the same as the first layer, but in terms of shape, it is cut like the second layer. In the next section, we apply the intersect. Intersect computes a geometric intersection of the input features. Features or portions of features which overlap in all layers and or feature classes will be written to the output feature class. Select intersect from the geoprocessing section. In the input features section, specify the layers on which you intend to apply intersect. And finally click on OK. Here two layers were intersected with each other. In this part, it is clear that one of the circular layers was located on the border of the larger polygon layer. And finally it is cut like the bigger polygon layer. We also intersect the other two layers together.
Here you can see the intersect of two layers. Both layers are displayed in common places. And the parts that do not overlap have been removed. In the next section, we perform the union command. Union calculates the geometric union of any number of feature classes and feature layers. All input feature classes or feature layers must be polygons. The output feature class will contain polygons representing the geometric union of all the inputs as well as all the fields from all the input feature classes. Select union from the geoprocessing section. Insert layers. Here the two layers were integrated. We also test on two other layers. Import your layers. And finally click on OK. In the next section, we apply the merge tool. Merge command combines multiple input datasets into a single, new output dataset. This tool can combine point, line, or polygon feature classes or tables. Use the append tool to combine input datasets with an existing dataset instead of merge. From the geoprocessing section, select the merge option. Enter the appropriate dataset. And finally click on OK. Here you can see the merge output. Both the second layer and the smaller parts are marked and the first layer next to the second layer. In the next section, we perform the dissolve command. Dissolve command aggregates features based on specified attributes. In order to perform dissolve, you need to specify which field of the layer you intend to dissolve. We dissolve the region field because this field consists of common regions. Select dissolve from the geoprocessing section. Select the desired layer. And select the desired field. Because one of the polygons was selected, the operation was performed on it. That's why we perform the operation again. Here the desired field was dissolved. 